you don't really think I'd have done that, do you? Everybody. Welcome to Big Brother's Little Brother. I hope you're very well. Pack show today. Chris Moore's on the show. There he is. Oh, and he's actually mixing. Big fan of that. He's going to be looking... Thank you. He's going to be looking at a uh, little... Uh, Diddy, we're calling a uh, criminal record, which is quite exciting. Also, going to be looking at another one of Kitty, the feisty feline's outfits that she could, in theory, have worn today if she had her suitcase. And, check this out, it's Team... Handsome. You don't know what that is, yeah? One of our housemates is a member of a very secret organisation called Team Handsome. I'm going to tell you who later on in the show, but we kick off as we always do. It'd be rude to do it any other way with Little Brother's Big News. OK, following Jason Lee, Jason's lead, last night it was Shell's turn to assume the role of naked chef. Oh, the boots are on. Let's see the bars. Stage music, it's just up. Megan, give me a point. Vinny. Okay. Uh, the other news is really just there's not much going on, so uh, we can see that again um, and again and again as well. Okay, uh, this morning the housemates woke up with a fridge fully stocked with alcohol, much to their delight. However, their mood quickly changed. Oh, you sweet, sweet boys and girls. Thank you very much. Oh, what? It's got a padlock on it. <laughs> I think we should take the fridge. They're not going to ban alcohol, are they? Because, like, <laughs> at the end of the day, it'll be really boring if they do. This is Big Brother. Will all housemates go to the bedroom immediately and do not remove fixtures and fittings? <laughs> trying to fight the power. To punish their housemates uh, for disobeying the rules, Big Brother promptly confiscated all the alcohol from the house. As you can imagine, they were thrilled about this. And finally, uh, in response to this week's constant rule breaking, Big Brother has taken drastic action. Everyone's got a kind of... Oh, everyone's here. Um, housemates. Big Brother has now issued one housemate with two formal warnings for constant rule breaking. Yeah. If Big Brother has to issue this housemate with a third warning, a housemate will be, a housemate will be evicted. The housemate chosen to be evicted and the time of this eviction will be entirely at Big Brother's discretion. To clarify, any housemate may be evicted if further rule breaking takes place within the group. Big Brother. All right, so just to make it clear, Kitten has had two formal warnings uh, from this time yesterday. She's had them already. She hasn't told, or she hadn't told the housemates about this. She obviously has now. If she misbehaves one more time, then Big Brother can evict any one of the housemates he chooses. So I can't punch their weight. That was Little Brother's big news. <laughs> Okie dokes. Um, the one thing we picked up already in the house over the last couple of days is that it's kind of been split into two camps. Now, uh, last night, Jay told Victor who he thought these groups were. The first, in his own words, is Marco's Harim, uh, starring Emma, Nadia, Kitten and Michelle. And the second group is The Lads, featuring Jason, Victor, Dan, Vanessa uh, and Shell and Ahmed. Stuart, mixing between two. With that in mind, today's cool BBLB is which group would you like to be in and, of course, why? Here's how to get in touch. <laughs> You can call BBLB on 09011 That's 09011 Or you can text us your comments. Just put studio, then a space, then your message, and then send it to 83188. Or you can email us. It's bblb at channel4.co.uk. Over the last series of Big Brother. There's always been one man you can rely on to have an opinion, be it good or bad. Today, is it going to be Tiger or a Pussycat? It's Radio 1's Chris Moyles, everybody. Hello! <laughs> We're smoking the peace pipe. Yes, we are. Uh, the Later concept on. of evil Big Brother. I do. Like it or don't like it? I like it. As long as they're not evil all the way through. You were a bit, you worried, you, were you a bit worried early on they wouldn't live up to it? Uh, I, I just thought if they're going to be evil all the way through, there's, there's not going to be much fun if they just because then it'll become a bit predictable. But um, yeah, don't let them run amok. 
Light and shade. In Light and words. shade, exactly. OK, so, um, so far, who stands out? Good to be back, by the way. Uh, it's good to I've have really you back you. after your year's embargo. We didn't let him on last Sorry. year, because he's so rude. Um, who, sta- who stands out for you this year? I mean, obviously, it's early days. But you picked two, right? I like Kitten. Do you like, you like Kitten or you like to hate Kitten? or A bit of both, but I think, I think she's very misunderstood. And uh, she just doesn't seem confident to me of uh, being the, the rebel. Mm-hmm. When she was in the, uh, the, the jacuzzi the other day and she wasn't going for a number, you know, to do a, a Big Brother Diary thing, and she just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going in. Ah, yeah. She doesn't seem 100% confident. So I think there really is a pussycat waiting to come out. Do you think that she'll, she'll bottle it now that she knows that uh, uh, a different housemate could get, could get evicted? I worry that she might think as though she's won. And so she kind of goes for a little bit. But I'm, um, I hope that she chills out. Because she's actually all right. Yeah. She's a bit, you know, individual. Um, but I think, uh, I, think she's, I think she's quite fun. And, uh, you know, she, she's certainly an individual. Sure. I'm, be, I'm, I'm being careful enough for you. Yes, you are. Very Good. careful. What about Jason? You like Jason too, right? I like him. He's actually, to say that he kind of turned up uh, showing his, his all to the world... Mm-hmm. Which I'm sure he was embarrassed about after about ten minutes when he's there, like, seriously, I really could do with some clothes <laughs> yeah. now. And you ain't going to see Kate. Really, an hour? I have yeah. to wait now. Um, so, but he actually doesn't say much. He sits, sits quiet a lot of the time. When he's messing around, larking about, uh, fair enough. But then he seems to stay quiet. Good icebreaker, isn't he? Yeah. Let's take a look at some of his ice breaking. Great. I'm a bit nervous about that shower. Why? I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, no, I mean, I'm confident and everything. Let me know when you're going in. Jay. <laughs> okay, just before we start, I hope everyone's got their three quid ready for the, <coughs> the end of the session. <laughs> three quid, remember, guys. Jay, out the for the you fire. Very dinner, dinner will be served in 20 minutes. Jason's odds for winning at the moment are 12 to 1. I think he might win it. I think it's a great bet. I think he might win it. And by the way, that's exactly how I look when I'm cooking. <laughs> really? Yeah. All that, ordering do a lot of that at home? Do you a lot of that when you do the breakfast show? What, cooking? Just, just with an apron? Uh, I do, I do a lot of the show in the nude, as, as well you know. I know that you pretend that there's this thing between us, but, we you know, really there's a thing between us. I tune us. into the webcam uh, to have a look at yeah. you do that. And, um, and the one at home. Now, unlike your lovely bum, uh, the house seems to be splitting into two camps. Um, yeah. Let's take a look at those camps right now. I think people have already got clicks going, like we've got a click. Yeah. With Emma in there. Yeah, definitely. Nadia. Nadia. I has split, and it maybe two packs. Mm. And there's us, lot, me, you, Dan, um, Vanessa, Vanessa, Shell, uh, Ahmed, mm. and um, thing me getting sort of floating about mm. between <laughs> the two. Now, I haven't really seen this yet, this, this whole sort of group, this whole divide thing. But no, apparently I, it's there. So apparently. which group would you rather be in? Well, the more sedate, quiet... First of all, I think camp it? is a good word to use for this storyline. And secondly, um, I would probably... I'd probably be in, half in one and half in the other. I'd probably swing between the two. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, unlike the... I was told I couldn't say that. Yeah. But um, I'd probably be about both. Because, anyway. you know, Kitten's group... It'd be fun at times, and Marco could be fun at times, but yeah. then there'd be other times you'd want to wrap his head around a lamppost. Now, you're a, a man, you're a man in love, uh, like but yourself. who is the most attractive girl in there, if you had to pick one? Now, I honestly, I can't answer that. Why? Because I, I, I worry if they had a beauty contest in there, nobody would win. Now, and I don't mean that... You seriously think that? Yeah. You seriously think there's not a good-looking girl in the house? Yes. Really? Yeah. We'll move on. Um, who do you think's going to win it? I, I'll say Jason. Just for fun? First or... Tuesday into the series, I say Jason. OK, cool. Now, before we enter if the I'm house... If I'm wrong, don't replay that. But if I'm right, thank <laughs> Just you. Just over and over again on a loop. Before yeah. they enter the house, uh, we ask the housemates, what's the most embarrassing record in your collection? Uh, results are, frankly, criminal. With that in mind, it's time to play criminal records. Now, we've got you on, so... Thanks, you're gonna Come across to the turntables with us. Um, you do a thing on your breakfast show, yeah, where you, you bring in one of your records and then you get the you, you get some of your sorry, you get some That's of your right. guys to You're gonna walk me through the glass. <laughs> you get some of your guys to judge it, right? Quarter this past morning, seven, what did yeah. you have? Uh, this lessons morning we've forty two lessons in love. And you got panned for that. I know, but the audience loved it. It's a travesty. Lessons you in love's a great track. Tomorrow. Mine would be Young Guns Go For It by Wham. <laughs> but it really Yeah, that's almost my first record. We <laughs> have here three bad songs, uh, owned by the housemates. All you have to do is guess which housemate owns which song, okay? Oh, you are a DJ. Ready? Here we go. First one's the chicken song by Spitting Image. Oh, 
class than most people our age. I'm 24, son. Is that about you? There we go. I like when so, you went like that. It didn't actually stretch. <laughs> no, it's called an effect, but okay. I like it. Okay. So, chicken song, spitting image. Emma. Are you sure? That, that means no, it's not Emma. So, oh, take okay. another guess. Um, uh, think Mar laterally, because it really isn't who you think it would be. Um, uh, Victor. Uh, Ahmed. Uh, uh, him. Yeah, Daniel. How about that? I and didn't know, you I was see, about to say him. Someone's graffitied his nose there. Just put a big hole through it. That's okay. Cruel. Next up. Okay. This is a beautiful, beautiful song. Okay. The young guns Here go we go. for it. No. Whatever wrong, whatever wrong, 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 wrong. Who could be a take that back? I wonder, Chris. Well, it's hang on, man. Whatever wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> Looking at the, uh, the the profile of a Take That fan and looking at some of the housemates, we could be here a long time. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to surprise you. I just had a peek. I'm sorry to hear that. I <laughs> would go for um, uh, Marco. It's only no, gone and been Victor. Really? Zero Take that. for two. Zero for two. Lastly, theme tune to uh, Robin Hood, Kevin Costner's Robin Hood. Was that Prince of Thieves? It was Prince of Thieves. Thank correct. you very much. How long, how long is this number one for? Everything I do do uh, for you? It's uh, four years. It's four years. Yes. Yeah. Brian Adams. Everything <laughs> I do, I do it for you. <laughs> Ready? Ready for the pedal? Okay. Is that what it is? I don't know. Thanks. OK, Brian Adams, anything I do do for you? Criminal record, what do you think? What do you I think? go for Marco. This is going to blow you away. Da, 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 are you da, kidding, da, really? I See, swear. I don't know what I'm going to tell you. She's a push cut. She's got heart gold. Absolutely. As are you. Thank you very much, Chris. You'll be joining us later on for... Call BBLB, all right? And really, you want to support... Thank you very much. OK, so, there we go. Coming up, one of our housemates who thinks he's so desirable, he co-founded a club called Team... Handsome, but who could he be? His fellow teammates are here to reveal also the latest instalment from this season's. I like to call it the collection of kit and couture. We'll see you in Trois. All right, welcome back to Big Brother's Little Brother. Still to come, we find out what the devil is Team Handsome. It's a secret organisation one of our housemates is involved in. We get to the bottom of it later on. But before that, you might recall on a Saturday night, Kitten had her luggage confiscated. One of the housemates had to lose their luggage. It was Kitten, so now she has to live for ten, potentially for ten weeks wearing other people's clothes. Now, we want to pay homage to uh, the potential of Kitten's wardrobe, so therefore, each day, we're doing a little item we like to call the Kitten Walk. <laughs> Applauding me, they're reporting the clothes. Um, OK. Now then, I've got a bit of a problem with Belgian people that watch a show, because the Belgian people who watch a show can't actually speak Belgian. Um, we asked what this sign meant, which was in Kitty's luggage. We were inundated with, uh, with answers, and they were all wrong. It doesn't mean keep to the right at all, which is what I told you yesterday. Apparently it means it's a local... It, that's not what it means, but it's a local cycling tour based around the uh, 1302 Battle of Bruges Menden. Uh, Cliff Bradford, Gabby Bibby... Gary Bibby, uh, Jenny Bolden, Dave Forsey and Frank, who didn't give a surname from Basingstoke, all gave us the right answer. Thank you very much. Now, um, throughout the show, we've been asking you which housemate do you think formed a secret cult called Team Handsome. The moment has arrived for us to tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Oh,
So it is Stuart, he's the co-founder of Team Team Handsome, and here to offer an explanation of the three other quarters of that most exclusive self-styled Playboy Club. Please welcome Tom Warburton, Matt Barker, and Tom Cumberbatch, otherwise known as Team Handsome. How do those girls get down here? Boys, nice to see you. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? I don't know how those. I'm sorry about. I don't know how those girls got down here. Followed us down. Yeah, I think so. I've never seen them before. (laughs) Dear, oh dear. Um, Guys, Team Handsome. How did it all start? The genesis. The genesis of Team Handsome. Well, it began in a a game session, and it was us against another four. This is at school, right? You weren't just playing games. (laughs) Well. (laughs) <laughs> and then, so we wanted to like make ourselves give us a bit of mental edge. So we we're like, we're working with Team Handsome. We'll take our tops off. Mm-hmm. Much, a bit. Much yeah. and, it's and it's blossomed since there. How many? I mean, the just four members of Team Handsome. Just yeah, four, just yeah. four. So yeah. what sport were you playing? With only four people, you must have got stuffed. No, not at all. No, we're no, just no. playing football. Yeah, okay, so but it began in the fifth year of school, right? Uh, we've yeah. got we've got a shot of uh, of our boy <laughs> there. Here we go. This is the yearbook <laughs> picture. Now it just looks like. Your average private school, guys just hanging around, having a bit of fun, lying around together. But hang on a second. If we take a closer look, oh, there's our boy with, a, with very short hair, as we said. And take a look down there, almost south of the equator. There we go. There's the T. <laughs> and there's the H. <laughs> team Handsome. Why Team Handsome exactly? Why no other name? I mean, you are three cracking looking lads, if you don't say so myself, myself, and the, the girls obviously, they obviously love you. Is that what it is? Is it that you are handsome? Self-explanatory, really. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I felt, do you know what? I actually felt stupid asking the question. Yeah. No, um, really so what, what kind of stuff does Team Handsome do? What kind of, uh, when we're out together, just... Which is really... One of us just... the girl that we're like, then the rest of them all like, group around and just help each other out. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> group around and mug her or something? Or, OK, so, I mean, and is there a code? So when you actually see a girl you really like, you do give it the, hey, six o'clock. <laughs> or not. Well, well, when, when we're together, then, basically... I mean, we're just good friends. It's all obviously tongue in cheek, and then we just help each other yeah, out. Watch each other. Who is really? the most prolific member, if I can put it that way, of TH? That's got to be well, Stewie. Really, really? is it Stewie? Yeah, it's Stewie. Yeah. So uh, you, you, you've been fairly proud of him since he's been in the house. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Yeah. Be proud, you proud. should be because he's been getting up to a bit of it. Actually, only take he a look has, at this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's I can't. <laughs> One thing I did pick up there uh, with uh, the Team Handsome uh, obligatory kiss, obviously, because you yeah, always end up kissing the girls. Yeah. Um, what is the, what's the deal with him wiping his lip on the, on the duvet? She didn't look happy about that. Is that, is that a Team Handsome ritual? Uh, must have been Michelle's fault, I think. Really? Yeah. Must have been. Nothing so he's not a rubbish kisser, not well, well, any of you guys. But too much lip well. gloss, I think. Yeah. 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 Now, do we, do, we think that, uh, do we think he likes her? I think, well, yeah. I mean, she's a good-looking girl. He's she a good-looking is. boy. And they're both getting on well, so... I don't know, maybe somewhere in the future, if you yeah. keep tuned. Ooh, OK. It it is Michelle his type? What's, his, what's, what's the, the... What's Stuart's normal type of girl? He doesn't really have a specific no. type, does he? He no. just, like, goes... Any, any girls? <laughs> yeah, any girls. Anyone likes the scattergun approach? Anyone really. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yes, pretty much. The she blunderbuss would, yeah. approach, OK. Uh, he's been supporting Kitten's anarchy. Is he, is he always rebellious? Is he the one out of the out of Team Handsome that always just... He normally, like, I think he'd like to be rebellious, but he's a bit, normally a bit intimidated by the authority. But I think here he'd like to take hold and really show himself. Yeah, and it's also be. something like, I mean, it's something to do, really. Yeah. I mean, if he wasn't involved and thinking about it, he'd just be sat back, so he's just keeping his mind going. Sure. Guys, thank you very yeah. much for coming in. One last time, please, maybe to that camera there. Uh, just a, one of your infamous signs for us. Team Handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way that, I like the, really like the way he, Yours is very sort of sombre Team Handsome. Yeah. Yours is very smiley. Yours is sort of boy band Team Handsome. Thank and you very much. I'm interested, you, you sort of flick between the two, didn't you? Well, I can do it all. Oh, I see. <laughs> Captain. All right, guys, thank you very much. Uh, these guys are clearly fans of Stuart. Are you, or are you a super fan of any of the housemates? Here's how to get in touch. Can you name all four winners of the previous Big Brothers? Do you, Do you know, know who is the first ever, ever housemate to be evicted? Can you remember where you were when Nasty, when Nasty Nick, Nick was booted out? out? Are, Are you, you Big, Big Brother's, Brother's biggest, biggest fan? fan? BBLB is looking for 12 people to take part in BBLB Superfan Sunday. All you need to do is adopt one of this year's housemates and become their superfan for the next 10 weeks. To find out more, go to channel4.com forward slash Big Brother. 
Uh, today's cool BBLB is which group would you join, Marcos, Harim or the lads? Let's go straight to the phone. Shona from Manchester is on the line. Hello, Shona. Hi, Dermot. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. We're here with Chris. OK. Oh, Hi, cheers. Chris. Thanks. How are you? Thanks a bundle, love. Cheers. <laughs> OK, wh which team would you rather be in, Shona? Right, well, I'd definitely hang around with the lads group in the house. Now, so why, could... why well, the lads? Why is that? Why is that? Well, basically, so I could use my female powers of manipulation on Victor to persuade him that Nadia fancies him and encourage them to go for it together. And so, I'd sit back with great interest watching that. So you're quite evil, in other words. Is that... um, do, you think, do you think Victor needs to bring, sort of bring him down to earth? Well, I, I think he needs woken up a little bit. Um, I think he needs to get out more and see a bit more, doesn't he? OK. If Thanks for calling, love. Right, let's go to talk line two. <laughs> she oh, dissed me. Shown. She, she dissed me. Get rid of her. He's Shown. so cruel. I know. He is so, so cruel. So, line two. Who's on line two, Dermot? <laughs> Thank you, Shona. She's off. Yeah, um, Good a, riddance to bad riddance. That's another viewer. Line lost. two. You, you don't much. need him. You've got him pulled up. Ruth from Bristol. Hello, Ruth. Hi, Dermot. Hi, Chris. Oh, Hi, how are you? Nice I'm to fine, see. thank you. Excellent. You enjoyed the show? Dermot's great, isn't he? He's absolutely fantastic. Oh, okay, what, what do you think, then? What, 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 what do you think? I'd rather be with the lads, but yeah. for a different reason. Um, why? Why? Well, because Marco and the harem, so to speak, yeah. they're, they're so shallow. I mean, yeah. they're like a bunch of schoolgirls who yeah. like to think they're popular and that everybody wants to be like them. And they've got their own little code going on, the seal clapping. I mean, what the hell is all that about? I really don't know. Ruth, are you saying they're a, they're a bit bitchy? They're not, they're not just bitchy, though, are they? They just think they're so cool and trendy, but they're not. Because everybody's... The rest of them, the lads are looking at them and thinking, yeah, right, OK, you carry on. Because Ruth. what they will do is isolate themselves and they'll be voted out. Yeah, OK. Ruth, it, with that in mind... Yeah. Who would you like to see out first? I would like to see Michelle out first. Really? Mm. OK, thank you very much. Don't uh, like Michelle. Nick from Scotland. Doesn't say which part of Scotland, so apologies for that. Hello, Nick. Hi, how you doing? You are right? Yeah, I'm great. I'm in Glasgow. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, who would you rather be hanging around with in there? <laughs> Listen, uh, there's only one person to be with. I'd become Nadia's new best friend. Um, Chris, I have to say that I believe Nadia is going to win. She's got six allies already, and three of them are what I call the, the, the four core power people. Vanessa... Michelle and uh, Marco, along with Nadia. She's a threat to no one. She's everyone's friend. She's like a Portuguese Mae West. <laughs> you are fantastic. Uh, we Stop have to the drinking, my Thank friend. Thank you very it's much, Nick. For you. OK, that's all we've got time for tonight. Thanks to Chris Balls. Thanks to Team Hanson. Join us tomorrow. And Andrew Winter from Channel 4 Selling House is going to be here. I love Tell him. us exactly what he thinks of this year's Big Brother House. See you then. Take care. Bye-bye.